when I first started doing this, it was it was all because of just pure curiosity, a sense of adventure, uh, a love of travel, um, and just being in a part of the world where there are so many typhoons, uh, tropical storms. So for those first few years, when I you know when I was living in Taiwan, when I was when, when I was still a student, it was all about just the discovery phase just understanding what these storms are, what they're like to go through, driven purely by curiosity. Um, the first typhoon I went into, I didn't even have a camera. You know, and I was just went along and witnessed it all, and it's all just embedded in my head now. There's no pictures. Um, but what, I think it was like the next year I got a very, very basic video camera. I hopped on a plane to Vietnam by myself uh, and filmed a typhoon there. And this is very, very early in the days of, of YouTube. So 2006, I don't think it had been around very long there. So I, I just shot some pretty poor quality video of this storm hitting Vietnam. And it just seemed like the natural thing to do was just to get it out there, broadcast it. So I edited together a bit of a clunky video, put it on YouTube. And yeah, got quite a few views. Um, and that was the only storm I filmed in 2006. I did the same again the next year. And then one day this email arrived in my inbox from a producer in Germany. Actually, we're still Facebook friends to this day. Um, and I owe him a lot because he was like, wow, you know, we're making a documentary on typhoons. No one is is kind of going after them or filming them. It's all just basically news crews who happen to be in the area. Um, you know, the footage you shot's really interesting. Can we license it off you? You know, here's our budget. And that was uh, that was my first client. And, and that was kind of when I realized, oh, there's a bit of a kind of a wider interest in what I'm doing here. You know, my work, my pictures, my video actually appears to have some value to, to people out there in the world. Um, and from that moment on, it, it, it it took a few years, but the whole hobby slowly morphed into, you know, a business opportunity. That's uh, really the opportunity cool. to just become a freelancer who specializes in this. Um, it did take a few years to get off the ground, but, you know, by, by 2012, it was, you know, I was the fully established, you know, making a proper go of it as a, as a full-time freelancer. 